An email sequence is a series of emails that get delivered automatically at a predefined interval of time. You can set up emails to be sent to a specific contact or a group of contacts. Setting up email sequences enables you to continuously engage with your subscribers and build strong relationships with them. It enhances their experience and improves their value as a lead, leading to the chances of increased conversion. An email sequence is a great way to send regular blog updates, product news, and newsletter. Let's create an email sequence. To do that, in the marketing dashboard, click on the main menu campaigns and select sequences. In the upper right corner of the page, click create sequence. Under the content section, you can define when you want to send your emails and the content of the email. You can click on plus add email button to add the emails to the sequence. In the right pane, you will find the option. Delay sending by. It defines the timeline of the sequence of your emails. Click on it and select the delay and the days on which you want the emails to send and click on the set button. You can use the slider to turn on or turn off the emails. If the emails are turned off, they will not be sent. You can even add certain conditions for sending an email by adding a filter. Email subject, write a compelling subject line to increase your open rate. Preview text, it is the text that will display on their notification screen. Email content, body part of the email. Attach files, if you want to send any files along with the email, you can click on attach files link and attach a file. You can even personalize every section of your email. If you have any saved email templates, you can use that by selecting from the drop-down arrow right next to Email Template in the Email Content section. Once all the information has been added, you can preview your email before sending it by clicking the Preview button. Under the Settings tab, you can select the From Email that you want to use to send emails. Add the reply to email. You can select the days on which you want the emails to be sent. You can select the time on which you want to send the emails and the time zone. Under the link tracking you can select any of the options like yes and push, yes and push email only, yes, no. You can also select a list of contacts that you want to exclude from the sequence and also apply a filter. If you want to duplicate the sequence, please click on duplicate the sequence button and the sequence will be duplicated. Once you have configured all the conditions, Click on the pencil icon on the top left and enter the name of the sequence and click on the submit button. Finally, click on the save button on top right to save the sequence. You can add contacts to the sequence basically in two ways. 1. Through an automation. Let's create an automation. To do that, in the marketing dashboard, click on the main menu campaigns and select automations. Click on create automation on the top right. From the pop-up that appears, click on start from scratch and select continue. Click on create automation and select the trigger. You can select any trigger of your choice, like contact created, joins a form, tag added or any other. Let's select Tag Added and select the Tag EB2 from the drop-down and click on Add Event button. Now, click on the big plus icon on the top right and add an action node. Add to Sequence. Select the sequence from the drop-down and click the button Add Action. Connect the nodes. Click on the Save button and make sure the status is published. This automation will add the contact to the sequence automatically when we add a tag EB2 to the contact. 2. Add contacts to the sequence manually. To do that, please click on the main menu contacts and select contacts. Select the contacts that you want to add to the sequence. Click on bulk action. Select add to sequence. Select the sequence from the drop-down and click on the Submit button. All the selected contacts will be added to the sequence.
In the marketing dashboard, click on the main menu campaigns and select sequences. Click on the sequence whose reports you want to view. Click on the reports tab. From the left pane, select the email whose reports you want to view. Select the date range from the top right. From the drop down, you can select recipients, delivered, opens, clicks, unsubscribes, spams, soft bounces, hard bounces, and it will show the data accordingly. You can also select the contacts based on the filter that you have applied and add them a tag or add them to a static list from the bulk action. In the marketing dashboard, click on the main menu campaigns and select sequences. Click the three dots to the right of the sequence and you will find four options. 1. Edit It is used to edit the sequence. 2. Delete It is used to delete the sequence. 3. Download Reports It is used to download the reports of the sequence. Click on it and select the fields that you want on the report and click on the button Download Report. 4. Activities It shows the activities that are performed on the sequence.